Hi, I'm Anders from Embedded Artists. I'm proud to present our new revision of our 2.7 inch e-paper display module. Revision D to be more specific. The new feature with this revision is a direct expansion connector that is compatible with the Raspberry Pi's 26 position expansion connector. Here you see that. As seen, it is now very simple to connect the e-paper display to a Raspberry Pi. An e-paper display only consumes power when changing content. It takes about 2 to 3 seconds to change the content. After that, no power is consumed. E-paper displays are not for showing rapidly changing information. They are more for static or semi-static information when the update rate is less than once every 10 to 20 seconds. There are multiple ports of the e-paper driver, but in this presentation we focus on the Raspberry Pi driver. The code and examples for the e-paper display are available on our GitHub account. The repository is called Gratis and is a modified version of the repaper.org repository. There are two different ways for you to use the e-paper display. The first option is to have the library statically linked with your application. This is described as EPD test in the README section. The second option is to use the file system user space, or FUSE for short, to create a virtual directory of files to control the e-paper display. Now let's show three demos. The first demo is a number of images shown. Next we have a date and time application. And here we have the barcode demo. As you have seen, it's very easy to work with our e-paper display and the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching.